Okay, so um, I'm going to just take you through some basic code examples in index code and CS in awareness with the developer the programming language. I've opened my folder to where I downloaded my index code binary here. And I'm going to right click on an empty space, select new text document. Now I need to be able to change the extension of this uh, text file. So I'll go to view and tick on file name extension. Notice that I get a .txt at the end. Now I can rename my file to, or rename it to code, then go all the way to the end, delete .txt and put .ndx. And DX is the extension for, it's the file extension for index code source files. And you're going to get an error when you try to change it, just say yes. I'll be using Notepad++ to edit my source code. You can use Notepad, you can use Sublime or whatever else you have installed on your computer. I'll just right click on this and say edit with Notepad++. You notice I already have my, my source file open. Now I'm going to open a command prompt from this uh, location where my, my index code binary is. You do this by pressing and holding shift. Then you right click anywhere on an empty space and you get the option to open a new command window here and now do so. And you get your the command window. We'll be executing our, our index code from, from the command prompt. Well, let's, let's type some code. Um, we'll ask it to print Sabona Zimbabwe, which is our key value of hello world. So print is Bala, and then you need the colon, and then a space. And then for a string, which is Amavala, you need to use the quotation marks. And Sabona, okay, Zimbabwe then close that, save our code, and then we go back to command prompt. To execute our code, we will type index code, then a space, followed by code dot ndx, and press enter. It's going to write Savona Zimbabwe. Okay, so I already have some, some prepared, uh, some ready-made examples. I'll show you uh, mathematical operators. Mathematical operators are your, your plus, your minus, and, and whatnot. Let's just copy this code over to, no, I don't want to save that, to our source file and save. So uh, quickly, what, what we're doing here is we're asking it to Bala, one plus three, and then Bala with nothing after it is going to print an empty line then these empty lines are going to be ignored by, by our, our, our code executor, our index code. Then three minus one, empty, and so on. So let's run, let's run our, our code here. Um, index code, the space, code dot ndx, and press enter. Okay, so um, as you can see here, it's Bala one plus three, which is uh, four, then an empty line here, like I said, and then para three minus one, that's two, four by five is 20, 25 over five, that's five. Order of operations also works where you can chain your, your mathematical operators together. I can say one plus three times five. This should give me 15, no, 16. Let me just save this and run my code. Okay, there we go, 16. Um, so our command window is getting a bit full. I can use the command CLS and press enter, and it's going to create for us. Okay, so we can delete this and go back to my, my pre-made examples, and let's use a, a while loop. So what a while loop does is, I'll just copy this over as I talk. What a while loop does is, as long as a, as a condition is true, whatever code is inside uh, is inside a specific part is going to be executed. And notice it begins with uh, with hash while loop, what you might call hashtag uh, millennials. Uh, that's the pound sign. 
that's how you, you write comments in index code and I can write whatever gibberish I write. All this is going to be ignored in the code. This is all just its comments. I'll save that. So I have uh, a variable called amaje and I'm setting it to five, which makes it an, an, an integer, which is inani. So my while here is the, is the add symbol. I use a question mark for, for the if and I decided to go with add for the while, the while loop. So while Amache are greater than or equal to zero, Bala, the value of Amache, and then Amache is equals to whatever the value of Amache is minus one. So we'll be subtracting one with each iteration of our loop. So let's just quickly execute this index code, uh, space code dot ndx there we go so five four three two one zero um i can let's let's edit this a bit okay let's convert uh amaje to a string which is amavala right so i can say um I can put my quotation marks here and say susele lamache angu and then a space and then outside of my quotation marks another space and then plus okay so um i'm going to have to convert my amaje to a string a string which is a uh, amavala so i simply say dot amavala at the end and save this so now it's going to it's going to print susele amache angu amache converted to amavala and then it subtracts one from from Amavala. So let's uh, let's run this. There we go. So say I'm five, four, three, two, all the way up to zero. So let's clear our screen and also get rid of this code. Now let's look at another example. senior is Oh, Windows, leave me alone. A senior is um, let's go with functions so I have a function here let's copy this code over and paste it in so I have a function I'm, I'm declaring a function called gezelela and gezelela takes in inani which is an integer and does whatever it does to it and returns another inani so this is uh, we're going to see a word in here. So this word in, I, I haven't found a suitable alternative for it in Devele. That's that's short enough. I could use uh, I could use Pagati. I could use I don't know. I'm I'm still trying to decide. But Pagati it just feels too long. So this is one of those areas that still need work in this code. The moment I decide, I can just come in here and change. Uh, the value it's it's currently in here but i'll see what to change it to i'll, I'll have to ask ask for help on, on some of these my mind really is not is not that good in in some areas okay that's the index code source code now then um so we are creating a variable called amache and whatever came in we're adding one to it and assigning it to amache then we are returning Amache, which is inani. So here we are. We are calling um, Gezelela, passing in eight, and we are asking it to print the the result. So let's save this and and execute it and see what we get here. So we get nine. So eight, which we pass into our function Gezelela, eight plus one becomes nine. Let's, let's let's change this up a bit. Um, how do we do this? Okay, let's let's change this to Inombolo. Inombolo is it's a it's a decimal number. It's a double a number with a with a comma. So you can use that to represent maybe money. I would not code uh, money using doubles, but you could use it. So we take. Um, Amache, we now we're not going to have fractions of Amache, but we'll just ignore that. 
a match in and then let's save this so let's execute this and see what we get okay so we have um, we have an error here so i just i did this on purpose to to show you um that index code has got some 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 pretty cool error detection so function body returns in an instead of in on bolo let's uh let's go back here so we need to convert this final value to a nombolo which is a nombolo um okay let's also change what we pass in let's say we're now passing in uh 15 and also let's add uh let's add four then we save this Okay, we quickly clear our screen and we execute our code. And there we go. So, Gazelela 15, more 4, and then convert the value to a nombolo. And we are now getting a 19.0 in the end. So, this is some of the quick basics of what, what you can do in Dex code. I think our video is getting quite long. We're now over 10 minutes, so I'll just cut it off here for now.